we set out on a multiple day float. Unideal conditions, and we came in cross paths with a freaking brute. Oh my gosh. This is a big, big king. I am very fortunate to have cross paths with a fish like this. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Chief's here, and today you will be joining me for a two to three day float trip down the river, camping, catching big chrome, freaking king salmon, cooking up some good meals. And I've yet to introduce you to the newest member of our channel, Mr. Barrett. Mr. Barrett. Barrett. Hey. Yeah, well, he's a handful. We gotta get moving, time to cover some water maybe catch a fish or two and uh, set up camp because tomorrow's going to be kind of the main enchilada. Barrett, come here. <sighs> Barrett, no, stop it, no. You guys having any luck? Not yet. You just getting out? Stop. You're on YouTube, right? Yeah. Yeah, Chief. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> How you doing, bro? Yeah, I got, uh, I got you on Instagram. Oh, right on, bro. I appreciate that. What's your name? Uh, Fishing with Bupu. Okay, yo, send me a message on that. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Yeah, Probably see me on there, too. Yeah? Yeah, matching up. <laughs> you Thanks, bro. Good luck, man. Good seeing you. Good luck, buddy. Thank you. I can't move the boat because Barrett is holding on to tree branches. Drop it. Come on. Drop it. This freaking dog's bouncing off the walls already. Definitely moving a couple fish. No. No. Way to go. There's fish moving around for sure, but I finally just stumbled across this hole right here. Gave it a bunch of drifts with skein and thunder sticks and they are just not having it. It's, it's hot out. These fish seem like they're just beat down, stuck to bottom in these holes and they seem super skittish. So goal for right now is just to kind of get downstream, get a good camp set up and really hit it hard in the morning. Cause I think that morning bite is going to be crucial, but there are fish all over this back eddy right in this back corner. And that's my proof right there. <laughs> oh man. Oh, there's one. What the heck? Right away, dude. Literally right away on a thunder stick. No kidding. First cast on a thunder stick. Like, no BS. What the heck? He's... Oh my gosh. That's a, that's a nice one. Literally first freaking cast, huh? Pull. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just wanted to get out of this log. Oh, he might be coming right at you. Oh, he's in the logs. That was first freaking cast. I saw you come up and swoop it in there. He came out on that sandbar and just crushed it. It was so sick. Oh God, he's on something. I might have just lost him. No, he's not, I can, he's gone. Gone. 
well, disappointed would be an understatement. That sucks. I had a feeling about that hole. I pulled right up into it. First cast just got absolutely crushed. He got caught on a log and the rest was history. You look like an old man already. All right, we have found our site right here. We got about an hour and a half until the sun sets. I'd like to get this set up as soon as possible so then we can spend some time fishing the, the last light bite, see if we can't get one on a thunder stick or something, but here she is. All right, first time using the hot tent. Man, this is, I can already tell, this is the first time I've set this thing up and this is, Extremely nice quality, holy crap. Freaking sweet, guys. <laughs> this is an eight person hot tent. We're gonna get the, the wood burning stove in here, cook up some venison, potatoes, and asparagus. Some proper fuel for a good day of fishing tomorrow. But first, we gotta get all our gear in here. Gonna get settling, gonna get the cock, gonna get the bed made and uh, get the rest of the crap out of the boat. And hopefully we have like a couple, couple minutes to spare and try to see if we can't catch a, a little buzzer beater king. Yes, it's a bit of boy. Yes, very good, good boy. Yes. So we're crashing, buddy. All right, let's get camp set. The bugs are getting so bad. All right, we're good to go. So this thing's kind of cool because it's essentially a giant piece of titanium. And when you first burn it in, it creates the, uh, the chimney here. So I'm just sliding these metal rings, just sliding these metal rings right here. You can barely see it. Got 10 metal rings that are gonna slide onto this and then it'll create the uh, shape we need for a chimney. All right. Good boy. And there we have it. All thanks to you, puppy dog, who's already asleep. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Gotta make dinner, Barrett. <sighs> Gotta make some dinner, Doug. We actually have a pretty solid lineup for tonight. We've got some venison, back straps, baked potato, and some asparagus. Juice. Should be good. We'll lather it all on right in here. It's got some nice, nice olive oil for some fat there. Ooh, that's gonna be so good. Mm. It's cooked it like perfect too. Ten out of ten on the asparagus so far. That looks like a good honk of meat right there. Imagine the whole thing's just raw in the middle. Mmm. My goodness, this is awesome. This is awesome. Mr. Logan. Thank you so much for this delicious back strap, man. It's been an hour and I'm still cooking this potato. 
Hopefully I wake up to a baked potato. That'd be nice. But if with what I saw today and how busy it was, I think that it is going to be an absolute zoo tomorrow. So I'm going to try to hunker down on a nice spot early in the morning, try to hit that first light bite and see if we can get a couple kings to cooperate on skein, thundersticks, whatever it takes. But we'll see how Barrett's first night here will will pan out. He's been uh, he's been growling at random noises, so hopefully it's not a whole bark fest tonight as he discovers new sounds. But thanks for sticking around with me guys tomorrow. Should be a banger. It's the main enchilada. Five something. Hey, hey, Claudine. My potato did not cook. My fire went out. Hey, stop. No, stop eating that. It's time to get packed up. We're going to be doing some rowing in the dark. I'm going to try to lock down a good spot. First light is starting to break. I haven't seen any boats or heard any during our interesting pack out. There was. A lot, and I mean loud screeching like Bloody Mary sound, followed by some like, it had to have been some sort of feline or something, because it was not a coyote, it wasn't anything else. I've been hearing owls and stuff all morning, but it was it was interesting to say the least. It got Barrett riled up, and he actually slept through the night. He did pretty good. It was, it was a little chilly last night. I didn't really sleep the greatest, but I'm, I'm full of energy right now. I'm just excited to be out here. There's fish moving everywhere. We're, we're going through these kind of shallower gravel bars, and there are fish darting everywhere. They're not in these holes right now. They're on the move. It's dark. They're making their final pushes. Hopefully when that daylight creeps in, they decide to settle down and play with their bait. Gotta love it, guys. We must have got out in the nick of time because there are drift boats behind us right now pressing me. <laughs> We're only a couple of ends away from where I want to be. And I've got a feeling that they're coming for the same spot. So we're just gonna boogie. Maybe a bend ahead. And I've been that guy before, and it's a heartbreak. But it's my turn today, baby. We've arrived, buddy. He's like, I don't want to be here. Look at those paws. Yeah. Getting them dirty. I like that. Before I get myself fully immersed in fishing all day and not eating, you gotta at least make some coffee. So the primary method of fishing that we'll be doing today is float fishing. We've got eggs under a bobber here. We're on a little bit heavier bobber. We got a 15 gram Raven float, a little split shot underneath it. And then we got three size threes, a water gremlin split shot to a barrel swivel. And then about 20 inch liter of 16 to 20 pound fluorocarbon. I have a feeling that it might take a second to get one of these things to bite. I don't know why. We'll get one to rip though. Oh, that was a bite. That was a bite. That was a bite. That was a bite. Oh, that was a bite. Oh, I should have set that. Oh, I was literally fumbling my bail around. That was a bite. Maybe these fish are settled into the hole and they're just aggravated now. I mean, crying. It's only such a baby dog. That's the drift right there, man. If there's a fish that's gonna bite to me on this drift. It was a good looking drift. Come on. There it is. Oh, it's a, oh, it's huge. Uh, it's massive. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a big one.
busted me clean. I don't know what's going on today, guys. <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I got my butt kicked. Nobody said that these fish played fair. All right, so while I'm retying, I figured this would be a good opportunity to show you guys how I tie my egg loop knot. I get asked this in almost all of my videos. So left hand hook, right hand, 20 pound fluorocarbon. We're gonna thread it through the front of the hook until the line is about just as long as the shank there, just that flat part of the hook. And we're gonna take this long tag in and we're gonna do eight wraps clockwise. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you wanna keep that nice and tight, just like that. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pinch it off with our left hand here. And we're gonna take our long tag end and we're gonna put it through the opposite side of the hook. So in this case, behind the hook. Doesn't need to be super far, just a little bit. And we're gonna pinch it all back off with our right hand right here. And I'm gonna slowly switch it to my left, but it's really crucial that on your right hand you keep all those wraps tight that you already made. So we're gonna do eight more wraps. And when I do these eight wraps, I like to do it a little bit lighter because you'll see why. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I like to wrap this a little bit lighter because now you're gonna be taking this short tag end, giving it a little bit of moisture, and you're gonna pull all this line through. All this excess line is just gonna get pulled through right now. And what you'll be left with, I like to put my finger there to cinch it, pull tight. What you'll be left with is a nice little holster for your bait. Some people like doing the snell knot method. That works fine, but this is how I do it. Um, it's basically just a double snell knot, and, but you get a nice little holster for your bait right there and nice 20 inch liter or so. So yeah, that's how I do it. And now we redeem ourselves. Move, move, you're right in the camera. Move, get it, move, move, move. Thank you. There it is. Knew it. A little scrappy guy, that's what it was. All right, finally, fine freaking Lee. Is this fine, like a manageable one or what's going on? It's super scrappy. I wonder if it's a yo-yo. No, it's okay. What do you think, Barrett? What do you think, Barrett? Smoking the skein. Not a bad one. Hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? <laughs> Finally. First one of the day. Little Jackarino. He is off to the races. Oh, that was a fish. I got a fish. What the heck? I got a big king. What the heck? I was just reeling into my drift and I, and I didn't even notice my bobber was down. Oh yeah, it's a big one. It's a big buck. Oh my goodness, it's a big one, guys. This might be the mature fish. I haven't ran a drift back here yet. I'm telling you it's a big one, guys. There's no chance it's about hooked. I saw it come up head shaking. everything I have into this fish right now. I can't break you and move it. Bigger than the first one that we lost that was a mega, I don't know. Dude, the, this kipe is giant. It looks sweet. Is massive. Over. <laughs> the 
gonna have to beat him. On the beach, on the beach, oh my god, that's a dog right there. That's a big, big king. I'm gonna let this big guy drink for a sec. Barrett, I would like some alone time, please. Definitely in the mid 20 caliber. All right, guys, we're gonna get a look at this fish. Oh my gosh, it doesn't get much better than that. We set out on a multiple day float on unideal conditions and we came in cross paths with a freaking brute. This is a big, big king. I am very oh, fortunate to have crossed paths with a fish like this. Big kiped up male, worth getting wet, worth waking up early, worth all the effort to come out here and do it, man. Still fairly early in the day, it's midday. I don't know what else will be will be granted for a bite, but man, if this is all I get today, I'll be very happy. This is this is truly an exceptional fish. Oh. No, move. Barrett, move. Move, move. No, come on, dude. Yeah, he's gonna go. There he goes. Back. In the hole. See ya, buddy. Oh, that was sick. Oh, and there's a hook right there for Barrett. All right, I think it's time that we give her up here at this spot, at least. We have a lot, and I mean a lot of water to cover in a short amount of time. I got a trip tomorrow, so I'm gonna get the boat reset. I'm gonna start moving downstream, and if I don't catch another fish all day, that was worth it. That was awesome. for a little while running into people and just came across a nice creek mouth that looks like just a nice shaded hole I'm gonna throw some thunder sticks lunch oh there's a pile of kings I see them sun just hit that hole right oh yeah oh yeah I think we're gonna get one to go here guys thunder stick but Husky jerk, husky jerk, husky jerk. I really like it. Here's your proof. I really like these husky jerks because they just stay down in the strike zone. Those, those thunder sticks, they float up. And I catch a lot of fish on them, but the longer you can keep it in front of their face, it seems like the better. All right, guys, I think that's gonna be a wrap for today. Hit all those fish first thing in the morning. Tried some really killer spots just to find out. I was about the 10th person to hit them. So, it is what it is. These are the only couple days I could get off in between guiding. If you guys wanna book a salmon trip, I'll be taking trips until like the first week of October. And uh, I'm gonna call it a wrap. And hopefully after that, I can get some more videos out. But for now, just been guiding, parenting, and uh, just been on the grind. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I, uh, I got a weird upload schedule, so make sure you turn on the post notifications and like and comment if you want to help support the video. But appreciate you guys coming out. Thanks for watching till the end if you made it this far. And I'll see you guys in the next one.